find your mat, and we'll find our way into our child's pose, so knees nice and wide. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Sit back, hips down onto your heels, and stretch the arms out far in front of you, resting your chest down, your forehead down to your mat. Just relax in here. Taking some deep cleansing breaths. Using our Ujjayi Pranayama, our yogic breath. This is the inhale and the exhale through the nose, warming up our body internally and slowing the mind. While we're here, go ahead and set your intention for today's class. This could be a short or long term personal goal. Maybe it's the reason why you signed up for class tonight. Or maybe you're sending some healing positive energy to someone who may need it, or maybe even to yourself. Holding on to this intention, keeping it nice and present, allowing it to challenge you throughout class. Inhale through the nose, press into the fingertips, lift the wrists, allow the chest to melt through a little bit further, feeling a nice stretch on your arms, shoulders and upper back. And walk those hands over to your right side. Left side body stretch. Staying here, finding any variation that you like. Maybe walking your left hand on top of your right. Body combined, reaching the right hand up and around. Henry, come on, baby. Henry. And release and all the way to the left. Ten. Same variation on the side. If you walk to your hand on top of the other, or father mind, go ahead and do that now. Trying to keep the right and left side of the body nice and even, so applying the same amount of effort and attention to each side. Releasing, coming back to your center. Inhale up to that tabletop, moving into our dancing lions. You might want to bring your knees slightly in together, and we'll find large hip circles, moving clockwise to the right. Maybe you close your eyes, don't worry about what you look like, just warming up those joints. And reverse, counterclockwise. Find some stillness, moving through our cat cow, so we'll align our bodies properly. So we're stacking our shoulders over our wrist, our hips over our knees. We'll inhale, tuck the toes, eyes to the sky. Really exaggerating these movements. Exhale, untuck the toes, rounding it in, chin to chest. Two more times, tuck and lift. Exhale, on top and round. Last one, inhale, reach. Exhale, release and round. Back to that tabletop, moving into our wrists. So dial your fingertips back to point at your knees. Your thumbs are to the outside, your arms are nice and straight. On your next exhale, you'll sit back. Opening the fronts of the wrists, relax the neck, eye gaze is down. You can hang out here nice and still or add in some movement, shifting forward, back, left, right, maybe make little circles, whatever feels good for you. And you can reverse the circle. Great job. Now put the tops of the hands down. Start with your elbows bent and slowly ease into it, straightening out those arms. This time you'll lean forward if you want a little bit more. If you want a little less, you'll lean back. And you can create little fists with the hands, release them, massaging the wrists. And add in some movement this time if that also feels good. Yoga is a weight-bearing activity, so it's really important to stretch our wrists out, to avoid any injury. All right, tops of the hands back down. Add in some weight, left and right. 
moving into our feet and our neck. So we'll inhale, tuck our toes, sit back, hips onto your heels, you're stretching your feet. At the same time, we'll stretch our neck. So inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose, dropping the chin down to your chest. Opening the cervical spine, we'll interlace our hands up from behind the head, pull down for a nice stretch. Releasing the hands, rolling the right ear to right shoulder. Right hand reaches up and over, cupping onto the left ear, slightly pull down. Release, roll chin back to chest. And over to the left, left shoulder, left ear. Left hand reaches up and over onto the right ear, pull it down. Release, chin back to chest. Now find your full neck rotations, nice and slow. Moving at your own pace. Great job. Now switch the direction, other way, keep going. And release, back to that tabletop, you can pat your feet out. Great job. Last part of our stretch, we're going to grab the weight in our right hand. We're always gonna start with our right side and finish through on the left. So we'll inhale, extend the right hand forward, left foot, back, flex, nice and long, creating one long line. Relax the neck, eye gaze is down, we're holding it steady for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pulse it up and down, here we go, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in and out for eight, Breathe, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Other side, grab the weight in your left hand. Last part of our warm up. We're inhaling through the nose, extending the left hand nice and strong, right foot back and flex. Eye gaze is down, relax the neck. We're holding it here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pulse it up and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, bring it in, kick it out for eight. Breathe, seven, six, five, you've got this for four, three, two, and one. Hold it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Awesome job. You, you should be Sweating a little bit, your heart should be racing. That means we're warmed up. So finding that tabletop position, we'll bring our knees together to touch. Finding that perfect alignment, again, we're stacking our shoulders over our wrists, our hips over our knees. Next, you want to eliminate any arching of the back. You don't wanna to be too low or too high, nice and even, a nice flat back where you could rest a cup on your back without the water spilling. We'll inhale, tuck our toes under, press into your palms, into your feet, Knees touch, we'll hover and lift. We're floating three inches above our mats, holding it steady for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pulse it up and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Tap the right knee, then the left. Here we go for eight, left seven, left, six, keep going for five, I know this burns, four, three, two, and one, turbo dog, keep the knees bent, press back through the arms, so it's like a downward dog, but your knees are bent, your chest is melted onto your thighs, so you have a nice stretch on the shoulders, 
When you're ready, slowly extend those legs, bending into each knee, twisting the hips with you. Just walking out that dog. Great job. Now widen the feet, mats width. Actively continue to drop those heels down. You'll feel a nice stretch on the backs of the legs. Keep the right hand planted, reach across and through with the left hand, grabbing onto your right calf. Keep dropping those heels down and twisting it out, feeling a nice stretch and breathe. And other side, plant the left hand, right hand reaches across and through, grabbing onto your left calf. Keep dropping those heels, feel the stretch on the backs of the legs. Breathe and twist. Back to the downward dog. Feet into your hips width, which should be about six to eight inches apart, moving into our rolling spinal planks. So we'll inhale. Lift your heels like you're wearing your tallest pair of stilettos. Roll forward to a high plank. Squeeze the butt and the entire body. Exhale, press it back, downward dog. Drop the heels down. Two more rounds. Inhale, lift the heels. Roll forward, high plank, squeeze. Exhale, press it back. Downward dog, drop the heels. Last time, inhale, lift the heels. Roll forward, high plank, squeeze. Exhale, press it back. Downward dog, drop the heels. You guys should feel pretty warmed up now. Keep the left foot planted, right foot up to the sky. We're opening our hips. You can bend and straighten the knee, roll up the ankle, point and flex the toes, hip circles, whatever feels good. Opening that right hip. And then we'll pull the right knee through to the nose, hold. Exhale, kick it back to the sky. Inhale, right knee to right tricep, hold. Exhale, kick it back. Inhale, right tricep, cross the body to the left, and back. Two more rounds, center, back, right, back, left, back. Last time, center, back, right, back, left, back. Hold center for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Plant that foot. We're in our runner's lunge. We're nice and active here. Catching your breath. Plant the left hand down, right arm reaches up to the sky, stacking your shoulders. Keep dropping the right hand back behind you, twisting your chest up to the sky. Eye gaze will follow. Switching off the hands. Right hand plants inside the right foot in place of the left hand. The left arm sweeps up to the sky, stacking the shoulders. Same thing, left hand keeps dropping back, twisting your chest higher to the sky, and use that right shoulder to press back into your right knee, opening the right hip. Plant the left heel down. Inhale, up through the arms, we're in our warrior two, nice and strong. We're sitting nice and low, so our thighs parallel with our mat. We'll do three pumping warriors. Inhale, everything up, nice and straight to touch. Exhale, everything back down, warrior two. Two more rounds. Inhale, up. Exhale, down, big breaths. Inhale, extend. Exhale, warrior two. Sitting nice and deep. And side angle, forearms the thigh, left arm up to the sky. Staying here, or finding a bind, left arm can drop back behind you. Sit lower and deeper into that right thigh. Use that right forearm to press back. Keep opening that right hip. Inhale the arms up, back to warrior two. Your right knee is still bent. You're feeling that burn in your thigh. Left arm drops, right arm up. We exalt. Right side body stretch. Inhale. Warrior two, extend the right legs, it's nice and straight. Inhale through the nose, reach forward, leaning into that right arm as far as you can, planting and dropping the right hand down, stacking the left arm up to the sky. 
really leaning into it. You're opening your right hip. You should feel a really nice stretch. Bend that front knee, back to your warrior two. Sweep the left hand down, right arm up to the sky, awkward twist. Sitting lower to the right thigh. It's called awkward twist because it feels pretty awkward. You should feel a nice stretch on your IT band, the outside of your right thigh. Keep twisting. Plant the right hand down. Now allow, allow your upper body to melt and hang over your right thigh to support you. You'll interlace your hands behind your back, lift them up and over your head, palm the warrior. Hanging heavy here, feeling a nice stretch. Plant the hands down, turn the back toes to face the front. We're in our runner's lunge yet again. We'll inhale our arms up and reach forward, press and lunge. So we're leaning and reaching, doing the stretch on the right thigh. We're holding it here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands to your heart center, bend the back leg, fly it out, warrior three. Flexing and lifting the back left foot. Hands can stay as they are, or fly them out like airplane wings. Keep holding, lifting, and flexing. Plant both hands, point the left toes, lift them all the way to the sky. Standing splits, your upper body hangs nice and heavy. You're feeling a nice stretch down your right leg. Slowly drop the left leg down to meet the right. Inhale, tabletop the back. Exhale, melt it forward. Hang nice and heavy. Grab opposite elbows, sway left to right. Side to side, shake the head out, yes, and no. Release the arms, inhale, roll all the way up to standing. Arms reach up and over, back bend. Exhale, swan dive it down. Right foot steps back, left foot follows, high plank. Either drop down to your knees or follow me. We'll inhale. Pull forward, high plank, exhale, low push up, chaturanga, hold and hover, inhale, upward dog, shine the heart through, exhale, pedal over those feet, downward dog. Lift the right foot again, back to the sky, same leg, and pull it through, right knee, right wrist, we're in our pigeon pose. Inhale, sit nice and tall. Exhale, come onto your forearms, hanging out heavy here. Feel a nice stretch on your right thigh. Just try to eliminate any thoughts that may be crossing your mind. Just try to stay focused here in this very present moment. Don't worry about what you have to do after this, what you're going to have for dinner. Just focus on right now, stretching and opening that hip. Awesome job, plant the hands, tuck the back toes under, and right foot steps back to the left. Awesome job. Now we have the other side, so right foot stays planted, left foot reaches up to the sky, we're opening the left hip. You can bend and straighten the knee, roll out the ankle, point and flex the toe, maybe do some hip openers, hip circles, whatever feels good. Then sweep the left knee forward and through to your nose, hold. Exhale, take it back to the sky. Inhale, left knee to left tricep, hold, and kick it back to the sky. Inhale, left knee across the body to the right, and back to the sky. Two more times, center, back, left, back, right, back. Last time, center, back, left, back, right, back. Hold it center for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Plant that foot. We're in our runner's lunge. Catch your breath. And plant the right hand down. Left arm reaches up to the sky. We're stacking our shoulders. Keep twisting it out, dropping the left hand back behind you. 
allowing the chest to rotate up to the sky. I be as follows. Take some deep breaths and switch the hands. Left hand inside the left foot, replacing it with the right hand. Right hand reaches up to the sky. Stacking the shoulders on this side, same variation. You're gonna drop your hand back behind you. Keep rotating your chest up. Allowing that left shoulder to press back into the left knee, opening the left hip. Plant the right heel. Inhale, lift up, warrior two. We're nice and strong. We're sitting deep into that left thigh, trying to create it nice and parallel with your mat. Three pumping warriors. We'll inhale, straighten everything. Arms touch at the top. Exhale it back down. Two more times. Inhale, up, exhale back down, last one, inhale, extend, exhale, warrior two. Form the thigh, side angle, right arm up. Again, we're pressing back into our forearm, pressing back onto our thigh so that our left hip is nice and open. Keep lifting up and out of that shoulder if you found a bind, drop the right arm back behind you, keep twisting your chest up. Sit deeper into the left thigh. Inhale the arms back up and we exalt. Slide the right hand down, left arm up, left side body stretch. Inhale, warrior two. Straighten the leg and reach forward, leaning into that left arm as far as you can, dropping the left hand down. Stacking the shoulders. Trikonasana. Feeling a nice stretch on your left inner thigh. Really lean into it. Bend that knee. Lift back up into your warrior two. Reach the right hand down, plant it. Left arm sweeps up to the sky, awkward twist. Sit lower into that left thigh. Keep twisting and reaching higher with the left arm. Feeling that stretch on the outside of your left thigh. Plant the left hand down. Allow the upper body to hang heavy over that left thigh. And release the hands behind the back, reach it up and over the head. Head hangs heavy, humble warrior. Keep breathing. Plant the hands. Back toes, turn to face the front. We're in our runner's lunge yet again. Inhale, arms up, press it lunge. We're leaning forward and reaching, hovering over our left thigh. We're feeling the burn, holding it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands to your heart center, bend the back knee and fly out, warrior three. Flex and lift the right foot as high as you can. Hands stay where they are or fly them out like airplane wings, whatever works for you. Keep flexing and lifting and breathing. Plant the hands down, point the right toe, lift it all the way to the sky. Upper body hangs heavy. Feeling a nice stretch down your left leg. Right foot drops down to the left. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, melt it forward. Bend the knees, interlace the hands behind the back, drop them up and over the head. Shoulder stretch. Straighten the legs, lean forward, hamstring stretch. Head hangs heavy, releasing any tension in your neck. Place the hands down, inhale, roll all the way to standing, arms come up and overhead, back bend. Exhale, slung either down. Left foot steps back, right foot follows, high plank. Move through your chaturanga, we'll inhale, floor forward, high plank. Exhale, we'll push up chaturanga, hold and hover. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Left foot up to the sky once more. And sweep it through, left knee to wrist, pigeon pose. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, melt it forward, coming onto your forearms. 
along that left hip just to open. Breathe into the stretch. We're gonna hang out here for a minute. Try to relax your mind and release any thoughts you may be floating onto. Sometimes in yoga, finding stillness is more challenging than the act of movement. So just enjoy this moment, this stretch. And plant those hands, tuck the back toes under, left foot steps back to meet the right. Awesome job. Walk those feet, baby step, heel to toe. Finding our low chair. So we're gonna bend our knees, chest to thighs, arms are back. Like you're downhill, downhill skiing, your eye gaze is down, we're holding it here, sitting as low as you can, knees to touch for eight, seven, six, lower, five, four, three, two, and one. High chair, arms up, we're tucking our tailbone under, so it's a flat spine, arms up, eye gaze is down, knees together, sit as low as you can for eight, seven, six, five, four, lower, three, Two and one. Low chair once more. Chest to thighs. Here we go for eight, seven. Lower six, five, four, three, two, and one. Plant the hands. Woo! And find those knees. That was our yoga section. Moving into our butt and thighs. So if you have a resistance band, go ahead and put it on now. Try to put mine on. Okay, so we have, let's see, one, two, three, four movements per leg. We're gonna do everything on the right side and then we'll move over to our left side. So I'll demonstrate the first move like usual and then you'll jump in and join me. But we're doing eight moves with eight pulses each movement. So extend your right foot back, nice and long, we're pointing your right toe. The first one, we're going up and down. Here we go for eight. Down, seven, six, five, point those toes, four, three, two, and one. Little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knees together, flex the right foot, we have donkey kicks. We're raising the roof up and down. Here we go for eight. Down, seven, three, six, five. You've got this for four, three, two, and one. Little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knees together, point the toe. We have fire hydrants. We're lifting it up to the side and down. Here we go for eight. Down, seven, down, six, Henry, five, four, sorry, three, I'll move back, two, and one, little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, knees together, last one, we have hip circles, we're going up and back, here we go, for eight, down, seven, down, six, keep going, five, reverse, four, to the front, three, two, and one. That was the right side. I know you felt it, I definitely felt it. Moving on to the left, I'm gonna turn directions so you can see what I'm doing. But we're doing the same thing. So left foot extends back, nice and long, we're pointing that toe, we're going up, and down, here we go, for eight, down, seven, nice and long, six, five, four, three, keep pointing, two, and one, little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, knees together, flex that left foot, we have donkey kicks, we're going up, raise the roof, and down. Here we go, for eight, down, seven, keep breathing, six, 
five, flex that foot, four, three, two, and one. Little pulses, eight, seven, six, higher, five, four, three, two, and one. Knees together, point that left foot, fire hydrants, up and down. Here we go for eight, down, seven. You've got this for six. Breathe, five, four, I'm feeling it, three, two, and one. Little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. These together, I know one more, we've got this. Hip circles, we're going up and back. Here we go for eight, back, seven, six, Five, reverse, four to the front, three, you've got this, two, and one. Awesome job, see off the band, my butt is on fire. We only have 13 minutes left. You guys are doing great. We only have two more groups of exercises. So moving on to our arms, find a comfortable seated position, grab those weights, or whatever you have for weights, whether it's Bottles, cans, whatever. And elbows in. Whoo, my heart's racing. Okay, we're starting with our bicep curls. We're curling up, squeeze, and down. Here we go for eight. Down, seven, six, breathe, five, four, three, two, and one. Little pulses, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Shoulder press. We have up and down. Here we go for eight. Down, seven, breathe, six, five. Keep going. Four, three, two, and one. Little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. We have in and out. Here we go for eight. Back, seven. Tap those elbows. Six, three, five. Keep going. Four, three, two, and one. Little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We have down and up. Here we go for eight. Up, seven, keep 90 degree angles for six, three, five, keep going, four, three, two, and one, little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, weights together, no it burns, we're flying it back and in, here we go, for eight, squeeze back, seven, Six, three, five, you've got this for four, three, keep breathing, two, and one, pulse it back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, elbows in, weights together, we're serving a platter, out, and in, here we go for eight, in, seven, breathe, six, Five, you've got this for four, three, two, and one. Pulse it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Up and over, we're going down and up. Skull crushers for eight, up, seven, three, six, five. Great job for four, three, Two and one. Pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last one. Shoulder rolls. We're going up and back. Here we go for eight, back, seven, breathe, six, five, reverse, four to the front, three, two, and one. Drop those weights. You guys are doing great. 
Come onto your backs. We have abs. And we're stretching it out. So plant those feet. Relax the back for a second. Take a breath. You're killing it. Okay, feet nice and wide. They're planted firmly. And we're reaching our hands. Plant your hands on your mat. You're kind of reaching them towards your feet. So we're going to curl up. Get familiar with the sleeve curve of the spine. This is where our head, neck, and shoulders are lifted off your mat. They're kind of reaching up in this curled position. So this is an ankle tap. So we're gonna twist to the right, grab the right ankle, twist left, grab left. Here we go for eight, left, seven, six, curl up higher for five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. You can rest the head for a second, bend the legs, create a 90 degree angle. Your knees are together, your feet are together, you're pointing your toes. Back in that C curve, lift the head, neck, and shoulders, and release the hands behind the head. We're doing toe taps. So we're tapping our toes down and as far forward as we can to touch and bring them back up. Here we go for eight, up, seven, nice and slow, six, feel the core, five, four, you've got this for three, two, and one hold that crunch we're adding on for a double crunch so on the inhale we'll tuck and have our elbows meet our knees exhale draw everything down to touch here we go for eight down seven keep going six breathe five four three i know you feel this two and one keep that crunch Bicycles, right elbow meets the left knee, opposite leg extends nice and long and low, point the toe, and switch. Here we go for eight, switch, seven, switch, six, breathe, five, keep going, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Rest the upper body for a second, extend those legs to the sky. We're about halfway, you guys are doing great. So point your toes, feet stay together. Woo, inhale, back up to that lovely C curve. Hands are behind the head. We're doing our leg drop. So important to note here that our back must remain glued completely to the mat at all times. If there's ever separation or a lift of your back where there's any air, you don't want that, that means you've gone too far. So you wanna keep Rotating our tailbone down and tucking it in so that it's completely glued down to protect our spine. We'll point our toes and keep reaching far through our legs, nice and long. We'll drop our feet as low as we can without lifting the spine. Inhale it back up. Here we go for eight, up, seven, nice and slow, six, five, keep reaching for four, Three, two, you're probably shaking because I am, and one, keep the feet lifted. Keep the head lifted, but lift the hands into a pistol grip. So we're doing little pulses, we're going up and down. Here we go, for eight, down, seven, three, six, reach higher, five, four, three, two, and one, roll it up. We have two more, guys. Doing so good. Five minutes left. Two more abs, then we're stretching. Okay, so our next one, whoo, our in and out abs. So this is in, in a nice little ball position. This is out, here we go for eight. Out, seven, three, six, keep going. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Awesome job. Hope your abs are on fire, I'm dying. Okay, last one. How we always end, bow canoe abs. So this is a boat, nice big V, we're reaching, lifting. This is a canoe, we're low boat hovering. So we're gonna hold each one for four seconds, up, down, up, down, four rounds, and then we'll hold the low boat, the canoe, for eight seconds, and then we'll collapse to the ground to give it all you've got. 
Find that boat. Here we go. For four, three, two, one, down four. Three, two, one, up four. Three, two, one, down four. Three, two, one, up four. Three, two, one, down four. Three, two, last time. Four, three, two, one, hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh. Woo! Just relax your arms. Inhale through the nose. Give me a loud vocal exhale through the mouth. Lion's breath. Two more times. Inhale through the nose. Vocal exhale through the mouth. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, those arms up and over your head, reaching as far as you can up the fingers. If you just woke up in the morning, nice good morning stretch. Point those toes. Nice stretch in opposite directions. And exhale, hug it in. Bring those knees into your chest, rocking back and forth, massaging the spine. Happy baby, bend the knees, grab the outside blades of the feet, pull down. Keep those knees bent. You can rock side to side. You can extend one foot out at a time. Both feet together for a nice wide straddle. Whatever feels good for you. Bend those knees back into the chest. Drop the left foot down. Keep the right knee hugged in. Interlace below the knee. Or take your elbow and wrap it around, pulling it in nice and close. Flex the feet and take some deep cleansing breaths, working our wind removing series. Spinal twist, drop the right knee across the body to the left. Right arm extends out, eye gaze follows. Back to center. Inhale, up the right leg to the sky. Walk up the leg. Hamstring stretch. Pull down. Release the hands, head, neck, and shoulders. Point the right toes and sweep the foot out and around. Big half circle until it meets your left foot. You should feel nice and long and open on your right side. Now hugging that left knee. Flex the feet, you can interlace below the knee or wrap the left elbow around, hug it in nice and close. Take some deep cleansing breaths on this side. Spinal twist, drop the left knee across the body to the right. Left hand extends out, feeling that nice spinal twist, breathe. Bringing out any tension. Back to your center. Inhale, lift the left leg to the sky. Walk up the leg, hamstring stretch, pull down. Release the hands, head, neck, and shoulders. Point the left toes. You begin out and around. Big half circle to the left until it meets your right foot. Inhale, come up to a seated position, flex the feet, and reach forward, holding forward over those legs. Inhale, up, soles of the feet to touch, butterfly, inhale, nice and tall, exhale, lean forward, walking the hands out. Back in, cross the legs, normal, crisscross. Inhale, the arms up. And reach forward one more time. Walking the fingers out in front of you, reaching the hips back. Doing a nice stretch on the glutes. Walk it back up. Inhale, the arms up one last time. Close the eyes. Drop the hands down to your heart center. Chest. In the chest, bowing the head. 
just thank yourself for committing these 40 good minutes just for you on this Tuesday evening. I hope you had a great workout and a great start to your week. And thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you again soon. Namaste.